Welcome to this demonstration of using the synchronizer for synchronizing Airlame Octane with Atlassian Jira. In this short video, we will cover the following topics setting up links between Octane and Jira, mapping users and lists, running the integration check and the then synchronization, looking at the online logs for troubleshooting. For this demonstration, we assume that the synchronization service has been correctly installed either by using our SaaS offering or following the synchronization installation guide. We also assume that the integration bridge agent has been successfully downloaded, installed, and configured. We have prepared a clean workspace in LM Octane as well as an empty project in Jira. The first step will be to create the release synchronization links. We have created two releases in Jira, release one and release two. The next step is to set up the synchronization link. In Octane, click on the drop down in the top right hand corner of the page and select Synchronizer. This opens a new tab which is the Synchronizer UI. You should see the bridge that you have configured listed on the left hand side. Click Add Link, then select Jira in the drop down. This is the first link we are creating for the Jira project, so new Jira connection is chosen. The various details are entered including the credentials that were created on the integration bridge agent. Then select Next to move to the next page in the wizard. We now select the type of link we want. In this case, it is the release. We choose how we want the synchronization to be managed. I have left the default selected, which means that changes that are made in both LM Octane and Jira are synchronized back and forth. Once we have set up the links, we are taken to the mapping table. This is a list of all the fields of the mapped entity from both sides. By default, most fields are set with sensible defaults. However, you can select each field and change how you want the mapping to be carried out. Once you are happy, we can save the link and start the integrity check. This needs to be carried out each time a major change is made to this link in order to make sure that the synchronization can be carried out successfully. Once the integrity check has been run, a report is produced. We can look at this by selecting the link at the bottom of the page. This warning can be ignored. We can then move on to see the full log. This is useful for debugging problems that may occur during synchronization. Everything looks OK, so let's start a manual synchronization run. The progress can be seen in the mini progress window at the bottom of the page. The run was successful. We can now go into LM Octane and see the releases successfully synced from Jira. I can edit the release in Jira, run the synchronization again, and see the updated release in LM Octane. Sprints are also synchronized. Here, I have created a new sprint in LM Octane and will then see the sprint in Jira. Now that the releases are synced, I want to add a new link, Defects. This is done in the same way as adding the releases link. In this case, however, we select the existing Jira connection since we have already created the connection for this project. Follow the instructions in the wizard in the same way that we did for creating the releases link. The integrity check is run again and all warnings are checked. Defects normally contain references to users in the system. Due to this, we need to map Jira users to Octane users. We do this by selecting a field that has a user type such as detected by and selecting the user mapping link on the right hand side. We can now map Octane to Jira users. We can also set a default mapping as we do here. Once everything is as it should be, we can run the synchronization again and see the results in Octane. The defect has been copied over to Octane. I can now change various fields in Octane and we will see how they should be mapped using a mapping table in the synchronizer. 
I have updated the priority and the phase, and we can see that the relevant fields have been updated in JIRA after running the sync again. The status and the priority fields in JIRA have been updated. Here we can look at the mapping table and see how those lists are mapped between Airlame Octane and JIRA. Once you have set up the link, you can then set the link to be run automatically. Thank you for watching this demonstration of setting up the synchronization between ALM Octane and JIRA. For more information, please consult the online help documents.